All right, Jeremy here from uh, Crazy Camper Crew. We're going to be uh, building a bike rack for the top of my camper. Uh, I'll show you the way I do it here. And so let's uh, get started. This is the, basically the uh, supply list that I'm going to need. I'm going to build this for five bikes. Um, we've got one piece of uh, pressure treated 2x4x8. By by we've got five 3 eighths of an inch bolts by 6 inches long. We've got 10 eye screws and uh, some 3 8 obviously hardware washers, lock washers, and bolts. And then a couple packages of this uh, self adhesive uh, felt pads. <clears throat> and we'll kind of go over what we're doing here as we do it. First step I did is I took my 2x4 and I cut it down to 6 feet. I used the extra 2 feet that we had and made and cut 4 six inch blocks and basically I'm going to screw these blocks down in this position this right now is looking upside down um, so the blocks will obviously be down the reason I'm screwing these blocks on is because I have a center ridge on my camper it's going to be hard to see there right in the center and I want to make sure that this piece of wood doesn't sit on that so the ridge will go right down here in the middle so first step is to cut this down and then fasten these uh, these blocks together Okay, we've got the uh, the, the pieces uh, of, um, screwed together and flipped over right side. And then this is the hardware situation that I've got. Now, I know that they make these special uh, devices that you can screw down and you can, uh, it'll be perfect for uh, the fork of a bike. Um, however, I couldn't find any around where I wanted to and I didn't have time to order it offline um, to be able to get the right one. So I came up with this contraption. What we have is this. 3 eighths of an inch by 6 inches bolt. I put a washer, an eye screw, another washer, and a bolt, I mean a nut, sorry, and then the opposite here, a nut, a washer, the eye, eye screw, another washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Um, and what you're going to do is, you're gonna, the biggest thing is to get the spacing out. We have six feet here to play with. I'm mounting five bikes. So, so working on the, where the spacing is going to be, but I've already done one here. Um, went ahead and put it, drilled a pilot hole for the eye screw, screwed it in, measured five inches, uh, just over five inches actually because the fourth that I measured on the biggest bike was five inches. Um, so I wanted a little bit more. I got the hardware lined up. The fork fits perfectly over the three-eighths of an inch bolt. And what I've done is I've taken the fork to one side and I've sandwiched this and tightened it that tight. I uh, tightened it down. This way, it can't go anywhere. And then, again, putting the washer, I went ahead and spread this out to make this end a little tight. It's not sandwiched all the way down here because uh, well, there's really, in my opinion, no reason. Not only is it going to be held here with this bolt um, sandwiched to this uh, the screw, uh, I'm going to have two straps over one over the front here. Um, of the bikes just to hold down this piece of wood and the front of the bikes but I'm also going to have a, a strap down to the back wheels across the back so uh, it's going to take a lot to get this thing to fall off or fall out, uh, tip over. These back, well, this bike is is sturdy. It's, it's, it's not going anywhere. Side to side anyway. So, so that's the one. I'm going to start working. Uh, going to do the one at the far end. Going to do one right in the middle and then we're going to center the two and make sure everything is spaced out perfectly and and, and, to, and uh, so the most the bikes will fit the best and a completed project we're we're actually taking four bikes and a trailer I made it with the fifth uh, brace in the middle because I know that when my little girl gets older she's going to have her own bike so uh, that's where her spot will be and as you can see if I needed six bikes, I could probably get it in there. I've got plenty of room between between these bikes here. If I squeezed it out and pushed it out a little bit, I'd probably get six bikes on there. So it only took me about an hour and a half or so to make this. And uh, what we're going to do is obviously the back wheels will be most likely just tossed into this trailer and strapped down. I have a strap that goes over the front, a strap that goes around the back tires. And uh, it'll be in place. The... Uh, Last step that I need to do, which I have to take all the bikes off to do this, is to get these felt, sticky felt adhesive things that I bought. 
cut them down to size and I'm going to put them on the bottom where the where it's going to touch the camper this way I'm not gouging any holes or scratching anything so the only thing that's going to be touching it the camper itself is the felt and then the rubber tires so um, I think it'll work real, real well so uh, now I'll take it all apart